Welcome in everyone, TS Villa here. We are reviewing Forspoken. Uh, it's a game that's been given to us for review by Square Enix. It has been incredible to play this game. I've done it from start to finish. We have got the end game stuff to do at the end. Um, but also we've still got to play the DLC. So there is DLC now out. It's available uh, in Tanta, we trust. Basically, this game... It did get a lot of hate when it came out. Um, I didn't understand why. I'd never played it, so I had no opinion on the game. Uh, the clips I've seen, it was actually quite good. It's actually really, really good. Um, it flowed really well. Uh, the cutscenes looked quite good as well. Uh, I never got around to playing it until recently. So Square Enix gave us a copy for review, um, and I played it, and I was hooked. As soon as I played Chapter 1, I was hooked. The story has so many twists and turns. Uh, we start the story off as a down and out uh, girl who was abandoned, she's an orphan, she's abandoned, she's, she grew up, she's been troubled, um, and she lives on her own. She has a cat called Homer, and that is it. She does not own anything else. She has a flat, I think. She, um, at the end of the day, uh, she's always getting into trouble, and something happens, and she gets transported to this other world called Athia. Uh, and she ends up with magical powers uh, thanks to a cuff or bracelet or band brace, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in the game, it's referred to as cuff. The name is cuff. You actually get to speak with the cuff and you interact with that. Only you can hear it. Um, it helps you throughout the game. You learn abilities. Um, it is incredible. The stories, the characters, the NPCs as well. They've all got a, um, they've all got something about them, which uh, which I really enjoy. I'm a story-driven guy when I play games as well. Um, I stream on Twitch, uh, so I play a lot of games like Resident Evil, Final Fantasy. So this Forspoken was perfect. It's made by Square Enix, who do Final Fantasy. So what do you expect with an actual storyline? It's, it's always going to be good. Um, so basically. I was hooked from every single chapter onwards. There is a massive twist. This is going out on YouTube as well, so please check out my YouTube channel, at TS Villa. Um, there is a twist in one of the chapters. I put the thumbnail up as to which chapter that is. Uh, it doesn't tell you what the twist is, it just tells you there is one. Um, and I did not see it coming. Uh, I was engrossed in the storyline. It caught me, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that. Okay, right, that makes sense. Uh, so, well done Square Enix on doing that. That is uh, That was well done uh, on creating that storyline. So, this game's mechanic is... It was very easy to get hold of. Um, you were... Uh, from the start of the game, you get a little tutorial into how to play the game, how to use the magic, how to use the parkour, and also magic parkour as well, to get extra um, extra momentum on your movements. Um, you also change up as you go through the the story. You also got different types of magic as well. So you know we start off with phrase magic, and then due to other things that happen in the storyline, you end up with different elements uh, as you progress through the story. Um, so you can rotate them. Press the uh, the D pad, and you can rotate the magic as you go. So each magic itself has its own cooldown. So each magic ability, shall I say, has its own cooldown where if you use the ability and you want to use another ability, you can still use the other ability. You just can't use that same one again until the cooldown resets. Uh, so that's a really good idea because you can just absolutely spam everything if you want, make it look like an absolute visual spectacle, uh, which is what I did sometimes. So we could you know, spam water, you've got like a big uh, tidal waves that you can create but then you've also got fire waves as well so you know you can mix up all the elements uh, to your advantage whether it is 1v1 or a large group of enemies um, the locking on system is incredible I do really really like that that is you know you, well, you've got your magic you've got projectiles you can actually throw your magic at enemies and if you're locking on you can just quickly switch to different uh, enemies it's nothing new in a game but it's something that I really appreciated in Forspoken. Um, again, and talk about the storyline, it is well written. So the writers on this game, 
well done. Well done, guys. It's, it is incredible. Uh, Ella Belinska is the voice actor for Frey, the main character in this game. She plays the character really, really well. Uh, I really like her voice acting and her lines that were delivered in the game. Uh, she's talking to Cuff uh, and to herself sometimes throughout the game. So even when we're fighting in battle, there's always dialogue going on. Um, that is welcome as well, especially as a streamer, because when you stream a game like this, there are moments where it can be a bit quiet when you're focusing on the battle. Um, so it's good to have the actual character and the game talk um, while you are fighting. Um, there are moments in this game where you can listen to the music. Here we go. It's the intro. There we go. Right, so there are moments in this game where you can listen to the music and you know trouble's gonna happen. You know something big's about to go down and it's perfect. It's the, no, no, for me, there was no music moment where it felt out of place. It all was in sync and it was so good as well. I was playing this on the PS5. So I was playing this on the PlayStation 5. Uh, the graphics were incredible, everything flowed well. So everything, it did not feel rushed uh, and it did not feel slow at the same time. So um, that was incredible. For me, I would recommend this game. Like I said at the start of this stream, uh, you guys uh, may have saw a lot of hate online with regards to this game. Uh, I cannot think of any negative on this game, if I'm honest with you guys. I'm not saying it's the perfect game. I'm just saying I had a great experience playing this game. I would recommend this game to anyone who likes action RPG games. So we're leveling up all the time. So we've got the ability system. So each magic element has its own tree of abilities you can learn, um, which is really, really good. You can learn these by collecting mana, which magic. Uh, so mana around the actual open world or in different challenges that is placed on the map. So the challenges are really, really good. We've got, uh, we've got labyrinths. We've got clearing out uh, old towns and villages. Um, we've also got running challenges as well. And there are plenty and plenty of cats in this game. If you like cats, you will love this game. Um, there's quite a lot of cats in here. So we start in the first chapter with a cat um, and you get to see them throughout the whole game. So uh, cat lovers, this is the game for you as well. Um, so for me, Honestly, honestly guys, this is incredible. I'd recommend it. Um, it probably gets an 8 out of 10 for me. Not a 10 out of 10 game, but like I said, there's nothing really that stands out that I think is negative on this game. I just think um, for the game itself, 8 out of 10 isn't bad. You will enjoy this game. I have put over 30 hours into this game. Uh, that is after end game stuff as well. So it doesn't take 30 hours to complete the actual game itself. Um, the story, the main storyline. Um, I would recommend getting the DLC. I'm going to be playing the DLC. That will be up on my YouTube channel, so please check that video out. Uh, so I'd recommend getting that because I'm going to get it. It's going to further the story. Uh, I think it ends really, really well. It's a great ending uh, to this game. So having the DLC is very, very interesting to see where they're going to go with this story. Um, so if you've missed my playthroughs of Forspoken, Please check out the videos on my YouTube channel. I've done them in chapters, so at least, there's at least two chapters in every video. So that you've got short videos that you can put these videos on as and when, rather than watching a whole five hour video. Um, so yeah, thank you again Square Enix for this review copy. It has been awesome to play Forspoken, and honestly, it has been a pleasure to play this game. Thank you for the opportunities you have given the TS Villa channel. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time on a review or a gameplay video. Take care villains, goodbye.